Hello do it yourself groupies today on the Backwoods Mechanic Channel I'm going to show you how to change the headlight assembly on your Ford F-150 truck. If you have a truck between let's say 97 to 2002 this video should cover everything you need to know. If it comes down to your headlight assembly it is something that's absolutely vital to your safety should rank right up there with your brakes. If you don't have no brakes, it could make for a bad situation, just like if you didn't have good headlights. I mean, I'm from the backwoods of the Bluegrass State. We play Dodge the Deer here all the time. I've played that game a few times and I've lost about three times already. You want to be able to see the deer coming before you hear it hitting your grill. It costs you twice as much money to fix the damage once you hit it as it would have to just replace your headlight assembly to begin with. So there's a bunch of different home remedies, DIY remedies, professional remedies that you can invest in. Really for the price point that you can get your headlight assembly for honestly worth just replacing them and getting it over with and it won't take you 10 15 minutes to do it let's go ahead and dive into this and let me show you what i'm talking about after a certain point in time you get what i call dead plastic on the outside of it here a dingy looking color and you lose a lot of your visibility you got them old halogen lights instead of the new led lights and the inside of your lens is going to be burned and there ain't really nothing you can do for that what i've got here is a quarter inch drive ratchet with a little two inch extension and a seven millimeter deep wall i've got on the other side is a ratcheting multi-bit screwdriver with a t20 torx bit inside if you pop your hood up and you come look at your headlight assembly here's what you're going to be looking for you got these two retaining bars right here right here now if you look down inside here you'll notice that your headlight bulb goes right here but the fasteners that hold your headlight assembly in place is right here there's one more right down here below it come up to the other one on this side and you'll see one right there don't worry if you break these things because they can be replaced but if all goes well you shouldn't have no issues because these are designed for you to reach down and pull them up one and two once that's done you're going to want to come over here and verify that it did pull up and off both of those fast you can see right there it will clear that circle that's cut out in the retainer you should be able to reach down and start wiggling it and pulling it out if you want to have any problems and it starts getting hung up just make sure to look back in here make sure those bolts are going to be clearing the hole once you do that it will come straight out as you can see right here it's really that simple now all that's left to do is unplug the light bulb itself and pull out our signal lens simply take a screwdriver right here and gently pry up on this and I will pull the headlight assembly away from the socket then we will have our first lens removed in order to remove the park lamp return signal lens all you got to do is come up here and look for that fastener right there that's going to be a seven millimeter on the outside for a t20 torx on the inside this is why we've got our little quarter inch drive ratchet right here you can start loosening it up pull that fastener out or if it's faster put your torx screwdriver on it and pull it out now once that's done, just set it off to the side, come down to your lens right here, get yourself a good grip and just pull it straight out and then unplug that wiring harness. This one will have two clips. You just pull them back like so and you pull the socket away from it. We've already got the driver's side taken apart. Then you come over here, do the exact same thing to the passenger side. And then right there we go we got the driver and passenger side out and we're ready to install the new one now like i said for me it's all about clarity i want 100 percent clarity and 100 percent visibility and the way i'm going to do that is by simply replacing these we're replacing the old headlight assembly with these brand new lenses from yeti motor and there is no question about it whenever i stack the new one directly on top of the old one no matter how many do-it-yourself remedies you try it's not going to compare to a brand new lens these things are crystal clear they look amazing and i just can't wait to see how well they work the lens here I believe this will enhance my visibility better than an original OEM part. Cheaper to buy than it would be paying somebody to come out and change them for you. And doing the side-by-side -side comparison here, you can tell that these are the exact same style of lens. It's made just like the original Ford part. Now as we flip them over to the back and look, you're always going to want to make sure and verify that everything fits the way it should, which means the new lens should fit like the old lens. If you was to order an OEM part and stack it side-by-side -side with this one from Yeti Motors, you really won't be able to tell that much of a difference. It's got everything you need to do your adjusting with. You need to rotate your beams up, down, left, right. It's got all that sort 
sort of stuff. So this will mount straight up to this truck without problems. As for your parking and turn signal lens, this thing matches up with the original as well. So again, this one is nice crystal clear visibility. You flip it over to the backside, everything matches the original with one exception. You see how it's got this little guide right here? That guide is meant to go in this slot right here to help guide those pins into place. It's got the one on top, which is the one that's gonna matter the most because once you guide this in place, get those pins in place, it's gonna be secured. All you gotta do is take your clip off of the original one here, get in behind it there, pry up on it, and it slides right off. Then you mount it up to the new one. And once that's done, this one's ready to install your light bulb and then plug it back into your harness. For whatever reason you don't have these, you lose it, you break it, don't worry. They do got them at your local hardware store and they're relatively inexpensive. Now allow me to go ahead and put some specifications here on screen for you. Some details that some of you might be interested to learn. By these, most of their products do come with a one-year limited warranty. You can go to their website and check out everything in full detail. I'll put you a few screenshots here to look at. You gotta do is go ahead and pull your stickers off here. They keep everything sealed up so nothing would get inside there on you go ahead and remove your old bulb here by twisting it to the left and pulling it straight out now this might be a time if you have new bulbs go ahead and change them out and replace them if you'd like i mean you do got new lenses you might as well add new bulbs slide it into your new lens make sure it's in there good twist it to the right and it will lock it in place grab your wire and harness get everything plugged back in here all that's done you basically set it up and you see those two guides right there and the two holes that they're going to be going into and this right here is going to be your guide for the top bar right here so what you need to do is get the top side started first and even come around to the inside here and you can see that they're going in the holes that they're meant to be in and then you just push them right in place and your screw hole should line up add your screw it's good and locked in you verify everything's in place we will move on to your headlight lens twist this to unlock it then remove this bulb once again at this moment in time you can choose to upgrade your bulbs if you'd like these are savania 9007 as for me i'm going to install the original bulbs here the reason i'm doing that's because these are the basic bulbs I already got a video recorded of this truck running at nighttime so that we can compare the original bulb to the new and old lenses afterwards it might be time for an upgrade same concept all you got to do is put them in place here your new lock put it overhead and then tighten it down now some people at this point in time might go ahead and take your adjusters and try to match them up to the way your old ones was working. I recommend that you go ahead and install these where they're all the same right now. Because honestly these are relatively easy to adjust. For the installation here just make sure everything is pretty well nice and straight. These will move back and forth for you so you can guide them into the hole. If you come down here and look you'll notice that one hole is right here. You got one right here and one right here. That's when you need to make sure, as you can see right there, the retainer is in the way, so I'm going to have to pull it up as we guide it in. Now that all of the adjusters are nice and straight, I'm going to guide them into their holes. And you will have room to look overhead in between the little cracks and crevices here to make sure you're going in the right spot. Scenario number two, we will use the old headlight assembly here for an example. See the little tabs right here that holds your adjusters on? You push those two tabs in and you pop the whole thing out. Now basically, once you got that tab popped out, you can come down here and slide it over these guides. You see how it's got a slot right there? This is the proper way to do it. You take them, you slide them in, push it back in here, make sure your retainer goes over top of it and then all you got to do is put your assembly in place push it in listen for it to click and scenario number three you can start with your main assembly first and then put your parking light assembly in second this is one of those situations i just want to give you as much information as possible in the event that you want to install your headlight assembly a certain way ultimately you got to make sure that those guides are all in place no matter which way you decide to do it so that's all done everything's in place just take a step back look at it make sure that one side's not in further than the other and everything is lining up pretty good i make sure i've got good clearance and then i'm going to go ahead and push it the rest of the way in once that's been done as you can see right here everything's in place on this one i will go ahead and lock that retainer in come over to verify that everything is in on this side it could still go a little bit further and then i will push the retainer down on it as well everything's installed in place the way it's supposed to be so now all it's really left to do is the adjustment you've got plenty of room right here to reach down in there and adjust these that's something we will save for a different video now let's go ahead and get the pasture side of 
assembled. But now we got all the same stuff done here on the passenger side that we did on the driver's side and we're going to install this. Set. I'm, I'm going to leave the parking lens out and we're going to install this one first. So in order to do this, make sure all of your X's are nice and in line. That way they will slide over top of the guide. In this situation, I'm going to go ahead and get this one lined up and get the guide in place and I'm going to slide it over there where it's supposed to be while I can look through this side and put the guides in place as needed. As you can see over here, everything is going in place. The guides are all lined up the way it should be. If you look down in between the cracks over here, you can tell that the one on the other side is lined up as well. Using this method to install it means you ain't got to take anything apart. You just got to guide everything in and push it in place. Once you start guiding everything in, just take a peek back here at the retainer clip, making sure that everything is guiding in place the way it should. If it is, all you need to do then is just gradually push everything in place with a nice steady hand. And then every so often, peek back here again and make sure that the retainer is not holding anything back. I have to wiggle it up and down every so often, making sure it's going in between the holes. Everything is in line. You should be able to see that rubber bushing come through the hole there. And if it's got clearance on both sides, then you can lock your retaining clip. And as you see right here, everything is nice and secured the way it should be on the top and bottom of both sides. And you can verify everything is lined up by looking through the side of it. Now all that's left to do is install your parking light lens. Plug back up your wiring harness. Take your parking light lens and install it along the guide on top while you line up the guides on the bottom. And you do have enough of a vantage point in between both lenses to be able to see the guides on the bottom. Just come up top and make sure your screw hole lines up and then add your screw. I tell you what, now that these things are good and assembled, I really like the way they look. It's a big improvement to this truck, and I can't wait to fire this thing up, and we go compare them side by side with the old headlight assembly. Passenger side on low beam. Now here's what the new ones look like up close. Here's a shot of the driver's side on low beam. And the driver's side here looks good too. So I gotta give it to Yetta Motors. They sent me some pretty good quality products for the price point that they're asking for. Definitely recommend going and checking them out. If you have any needs or upgrades for your vehicles, Head on over there and see if they got anything in stock. You never know. Might have exactly what it is that you're looking for. So what you're looking at here is this truck's original headlights shining at this building. This is the low beam. Right now, we're roughly in the exact same position we was with the old headlight assembly. As you can see, these are dead on from the beginning. I haven't done any type of adjustment to these. They were set properly straight out of the box. I'm not saying that all sets will be, but I do like the fact that these were right on the money when they were installed. It's aimed directly in front of me to where I can see what's coming down the road. They're not veering off to oncoming traffic or over into the hillside, but they're directly in front of me and down on the road so I can actually see the road at nighttime. And there is the high beam. Whenever you're driving down the road, it's dark, it's raining, you got deers coming out of the hills on you and all that sort of stuff. You want to be able to have that visibility, especially whenever modern day cars here in 2022 have LED lights that could be glaring into your windshield. You want to have the best visibility possible. We will go ahead and flip it to our bright lights. And as you can see, if you need bright lights, it will shine directly in front of you the way it should be. These are nice, clear headlights. So I gotta say, these are some pretty good lenses. It was relatively easy to install, fit just like the factory, and they're working really great. This is definitely a major improvement compared to the old headlight assembly. But that's it for this video. I sure do appreciate everybody who tuned in. If this video helped you, make sure you comment down in the description box below. And if you're looking for products for your vehicle, make sure you check out Yeeta Motor. You do got all kinds of different products for you to choose from. You'll have to check out your own make and model and see if they got what you need. Otherwise, I'll post some other links in the description box below to other YouTube channels who have reviewed some of their products. That way you've got a good feel for what you're buying. For updates on this truck, headlight performance, and a bunch more content, all you gotta do is pop the clutch on that subscribe button. Follow on all these social media platforms.